122 pip trade very easy to do so this is what's very very important about using this strategy welcome back youtube harry here known as trade shop and in this video we're going to look at an easy scalping strategy when we scalp we want to be in and out of the markets as quick as possible and this strategy just does that i've taken this from what i use to trade which is price action and this is a really good setup that can be developed on and will be really beneficial and we'll also teach you a few things about price actions with that being said let's get straight into the strategy and get to the main parts of how to execute on this so when it comes to this strategy you know we're looking to scalp so we're looking to catch the move catch the momentum catch a quick move in and out of the market and be able to repeat that consistently now we want to use price action we don't want to use any indicators because what we want to see is just what the candles tell us right so how the strategy is going to work is it's going to start with a few simple steps the first step that you need to know is what is the trend it's very important to know with the trend because we don't want to try counter trend when scalping we want to follow the momentum of the market follow the direction of the market so it's easy to find a trend because trends are pretty simple go on the higher time frame such as the daily time frame right and look at how the candle has closed in the previous day if the candle on the previous day has closed bearish we more and then likely will see some downside pressure i have plenty of videos on my youtube channel and let me take this opportunity to say please support the youtube algorithm leave a like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and really helps you know push con make you know make me push out content and i would really appreciate it and if you're new here welcome welcome glad to have you down below is some groups where you can chat to me if you have any questions or if you lose a trade and want to know why you lost you know ask for feedback it's a great place to chat safe haven of the forex community so getting back to the main stuff you know looking here you know if the daily is close bearish most likely it's going to continue down bearish if the daily is close bullish most likely it's going to continue bullish but obviously you have to look at structure and structure is higher highs and higher lows right so if we're in a downtrend i don't know why this is not drawing let me get another drawing tool for you guys so if we're in a downtrend it's going to look something like this and if we're in an uptrend it's going to look something like that so a downtrend has a high a low a lower high a lower low right so if we were to just look at what we have on the chart here towards the left you'll notice we have a downtrend that same thing that i just drew out is basically this right you can see that structure forming right so you can see this connects to this and this connects to that so you can see how that that forms right so that's how you understand structure candle closures on the higher time frames tell us all right like this day is obviously bearish and then if you look here the next day we got more bearish momentum right you can see price continued down before continuing up now in an uptrend we want to see higher highs or higher lows daily close bullish there's your higher high there's your higher low but it failed at the previous high so this is how structure works and you can normally see very very clear structure so you start from the daily look how the daily candle closed then you want to go and see you know look how the four hour look look how clear this is on the four hour that we're in a downtrend right so understanding that we're in a downtrend now that means all right look here high low lower high so that means we should be looking for sell. So that's the first part of that strategy. Understand which direction the market is going. If you want to understand this more in depth, there is plenty of videos on my channel. Check them out. Look at how to find the direction of the market. I'll probably link it in the card. Basically, that's the first step. And now let's get straight on to the second step. So the next part of the strategy is going to be trading when there is volume. Because we want to catch these moves, these quick moves when there's volume in the market. And how do we know that is when the major banks open. Open, right so we have trading sessions right and you can simply search when are the trading times and you can see our main sessions we have london open new york open and then asian open right so your best times are probably going to be london and new york open you want to trade after these times or just before right to catch these moves and it's very important to trade during those times you can easily convert this into your time zone to find out when is the best time for you to trade and that is the second step is trading during these times so let's get on to the third step so now with the third step it is coming into the meat and potatoes of the actual strategy is how to execute this trade and it's going to be pretty simple it's not something very complicated but i'm going to draw it out and then i'll show you some real life examples and we can look at how this trade is executed so the first thing you want to see is you want to look for price obviously to make some sort of support or resistance or even better a range right so i'm going to draw this out for you and i'm going to explain it so as you can see in my beautiful drawing 
now what do we notice in this drawing well obviously every time that price has tried to go past the zone let me change the color as we can see we have a zone here right price is failing to break above this zone so this is creating our natural resistance right similarly to to the wards, the lows of this we can see price cannot break this so essentially what we've made here is what's called a range right so in this range we don't want to be trading because there's not much going on price goes to the top of the range rejects comes to the bottom of the range and let's say this is only something like you know 10 pips it's not really that worth it you know to be caught in this because it's messy but what if we look for the price to break out of that range right so let's say on this for instance we are on a downtrend price here many times failed to close below this area so if we get on the next candle here a closure oh wait let me just change this if we get on the next candle a closure below this range with price going on a downtrend this candle here is doing what all of these candles could not do which is closing out the range and if it's closing strong like this bearish high chance your next candle is gonna come down and give you the move so that means to say all right then that means we can take a position based on that analysis and we would take it at the break of the lows here and your stop loss would go above the highs like so and then your entry would be here and then your take profit would be and this is the great question where you're going to place your take profit so when it comes to placing your take profit and i'm going to clear all of this and we're going to go and look in the charts you need to place your take profit in an area that makes sense if there is a recent support or resistance in that area that is where you need to place your take profit be sure to stick around because when we get to the real life examples you will understand of not real life but the on chart examples you'll understand how to distinguish the relevant support and resistances but for now understand that you need to place your you know your take profit in an area that makes sense or what you can do is look to secure at one to one and then leave a runner so apart from that what we also need to understand is a very 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 important point to make this work because it doesn't always work if you miss this one key factor and this one key factor can actually change your trading forever so let's go and look at this key factor and basically explain it so for this key factor to work and to get a move like that what do we need we need something called LTAs LTA stand for low traffic areas and it's areas where price in the past was able to move freely because if price in the past was able to move freely in the future it will have a high chance to move freely how do we identify those areas because we need to be able to identify those areas to be able to trade in them right so let's clear all of this here and let's go and see where we can identify these areas these areas are most likely going to be where price moved easily in the past you can see in this area right here price very comfortably moved easily in the past right you can see it had a clean move up and what happened we had a clean move down but since we're on a downtrend the down move is going to be bigger than the uptrend because we're going down right see you can see here small uptrend long down move right so as we can see here price here struggled look price closed below the range clean area where price moved clean down it moved clean down in the future clean area here clean area here right and you can see that all along the charts right you can see how let me just remove all of this you can see all al along the charts that you see where price was messy here right you can see all here we didn't have clean moves there was no clean move so when price started to move you never got a clean move right but once we got out of that zone you could see then it produced a clean move but then you're asking okay why didn't it fill this whole area two reasons first of all we reached this resistance so if you're looking to take profits on this move here you need to take profits at the relevant zone so that's the first reason why second reason we are in a downtrend right so understanding where you are in the market and how it works is very 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 important so you need to be trading in clean areas of candles right because where price moved easily in the past most likely it will move easily in the future especially when you're trading with volume so when you put all of these together when you look for a range you look for the candle to close outside of the range then you take the trade 
and you expect price to move in the direction so now putting all of this strategy together we're going to look at some examples and i'm going to show you how to execute on these trades right how do you take these trades and how to basically place them so let's go and have a look so let's have a look at some real life examples here and how we're going to be able to take these trades here so obviously what we want to look for is price to make a range price price to close below a range and follow the trend so obviously this will work on any time frame if you're a swing trader you can do this on higher time frames such as a four hour and here's a clean example here we can see how price decided at this point here to make a range right see we had our, our resistance here so we can draw lines here we had our resistance like this and we had our support down here right and we're on a downtrend to the left here what did we have we had clean candles right and our support level was down here this is where our support level and we also had a uh, support right here like so right but between that area there let me just remove this what can you see we had we had a very clean area of this candle here because price move easily here so in the future it should move easily right so what we do now is we can see that all right price managed to close below that area right all of these candles could not close below this area but this candle closed below the area after making the range so just like i said once we get the closure below the, the range following the trend so you get the closure below the range you look for the next candle right to wait let me just get them out so you then once you see that closure below the range you can put your enter the position your stop loss is going to go above that candle because why is it going to go above that candle because this is simple price action if price wants to continue down it should not break the highs because breaking highs on lower time frames is forming bullish structure so simple price action we need to keep our stop loss above the highs because that's what should not be invalidated that should be kept safe when entering this position practically right so when we enter this position here we look for the candles our first area of interest is going to be here so at this point here we we don't want to secure because obviously this is not a relevant risk to reward but remember we are trading on the higher time frames so what we want to do at this area is maybe look for reaction if we saw that this candle here close bullish and the next candle come and break the high then we would just close the trade at break even we wouldn't lose anything you wouldn't make anything but you can see here that once the trade went to our next take profit this is going to be your next take profit we didn't have a reaction here but you can see when price reached the next support you see once it filled the clean area once the clean area was filled you can see boop we got a reaction and that's where your last take profit and this was here 122 pip trade very easy to do so this is what's very very important about using this strategy is that it's simple and it can give you a trade of here like 122 pips so and this works on the lower time frame let's say you don't want to hold how many of these hours so let's go look at some low time frame examples and let's go look at a buy example because we want to look at you know this is a sell example let's go look at a buy example so we can see on the four hour time frame here we are trending bullish here so we are making higher highs and higher lows and we're continuing up bullish so that is telling me i should be looking for buys here so now what we know is since we know we're going up we need to look for our range and look for the breakout so let's say we were we came to the charts somewhere around here let's say for example just a random spot all right so we're obviously bullish on the four hour time frame daily time frame is also trending bullish here we can see and we have a clean area so now let's go on on the one hour time frame we can see all right one hour already is made a range here so i pick this spot random we can see here's our range here's our support here's our resistance so if we manage to get a closure up ab above this range we can look to take a position towards the upside so yes we did get a closure and there's your trade right so you can see very very simple long position here you get the closure above the range we're bullish today stop loss is going to go where below the candle here right and your target is going to be where so now we're going to go and see where our relevant target is going to be we're going to scroll back so we can see a target and we have clean candles all the way up to this area here that's our last support so we're gonna that's gonna be our target 
to secure some profits here so let's see how this trade went so we're gonna go next candle here so it hit our take profit here we saw a slight reaction so now we can secure some profits at one to one and now let's leave a runner and you can see what happened is that okay it hit our resistance exactly where i put my line and this is what i mean it fills the area right let's see next candle boom and came and stopped you out at break even that's why it's very important to secure profits now you might be asking me and this is why you have to mark your zones remember i said it's very important where to take profit don't be greedy mark it in the relevant area that line i marked is a perfect example boop direct on the dot came down and it was just from previous data so now you might ask okay this stop loss was too big but guess what we will have the same trade on the 30 minutes so if you go down on the 30 minute here you can see you could have also grabbed an entry on this 15 minute option let's see what option we got on this was even a better option on the 15 minute here you can see 20 pips and you did have to hold some drawdown but eventually it plays out right and it does not break the low that's what's very important let's go and see if we can find another example because here's another range so let's see next candle here now we're going into low volume we're breaking down a bit so nothing now now we're creating a new range so i fast forward to give you another example here and uh, we can see we've made a, an easy range here right here's your lows of the range here's your highs of the range so obviously here's our range we're looking for buys because we're still bullish and if we get a closure above this area right so if we get a candle forming something like this and this is what i want to look for i want to see a candle close above this and i'll look to take the next candle right we might get some drawdown but i would look depends on the time but i'd look to take this next candle to continue price bullish right so let's see if we can get that and let's see what it presents so we're still ranging still ranging still ranging looks like we are rejecting the top of the zone there we got a closure above the range so this is our first closure above the range here so that means i can execute a position here i can put a 12 pip stop loss something like this right 11 11 pip stop loss and our target is going to be you know we would look back but for me in this trade i'm going to target 16 pips should be you know let's say i'm gonna target 15 pips because i'm not gonna waste your time i know back there that that there is a, a clean candle so we should be able to easily hit that target right so here's your closure there's your entry stop loss below there if it comes and stops us out because this you know this strategy obviously is not going to be a hundred percent win rate there's no such thing then that's just probability but let's see what happens here so next candle okay we're already in some loss here but now break even you know nothing nothing scary i need to see this area respected if this area does not get respected right here i will close the trade no point of being in the trade if this area gets broken close the trade so that is that is to manage risk but if i was in this trade i would wait for a candle if a candle close back in here like this then i would close the trade but if you want to manage risk more then you can manage risk but for now this trade is fine and i think that this 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 is just retesting this can still continue bullish we're also in late new york session so volume is starting to get lower because this is late new york session good so this candle c respected this area continuing bullish will it hit our take profit next candle take nice so you can see it's continuing bullish at this point i would move my stop loss to break even and take profit smashed easy trade nice 16 15 pips very quickly and that will be it end of the story very simple trade all you had to do is wait for the candle to close above the range and price continued bullish so that's pretty much it for today guys i hope that this strategy can help you now this is i just need to make a disclaimer this is very 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 basic don't expect to become profitable just from this strategy this is basically a guideline for you guys to get on the right direction to become consistently profitable this is a profitable strategy and i personally use one of these setups but you have to make sure you're considering a lot of other factors and i do have in-depth videos in in my youtube i'm not just giving this i just wanted to make a short video you know to make things simple for some people and then once you understand this you can watch my other videos it's not like i'm trying to say hey okay fine you know to learn more please buy this you know how most people are no 
what I, I do have videos explaining more in depth and things that can go wrong. I have a full 40 minute tutorial of basically how to trade price action, which will cover basically enough for you to get profitable just by asking questions. And that's why I have the group. So understand that, you know, just by watching one strategy video, you're never, ever going to become profitable. There's, you know, videos are only for guidance. But at the end of the day, you're the one who can only make the difference. So make sure to put in the work ask questions, make sure to get stuff done. And that's the only way you're going to progress in trading. And it's very important to do so. But this should definitely get you on the right track and is something easy and is something that is profitable and proven to be profitable. So with that being said, take care, trade sharp and until next time. Peace.